Ipswich begin their journey back in the second tier of English football. Comes up from the back, in it comes from Donassian. Leif Davis, it's deflected, and it's in! And it's Nathan Broadhead, the former Sunderland player, who scored the last time these two teams met. Here is Broadhead, feeding it through to Hurst, here's a chance, George Hurst slams it home for his first championship goal. Finds Caden Jackson right-hand side, Ipswich being patient, and then it's Jack Taylor with the debut goal, who fires Ipswich into the lead. Patient build-up play from town, but it pays off. And Taylor buries the ball beyond Matthew Cox, 1-0. Oh, great run. Baggett into Hurst, flag stays down. Hurst cutting it back for Luko! And Shawnee Aluko scores his first goal in an Ipswich shirt since October 2021. Grants no further. Morsi delivers in towards Wolf and there! Stretched game. We could see some real, real opportunities for him to play his killer pass in and dribble with the ball. Harness checked his shoulder there and manages to move away from Hoover. That's really nice play for Marcus Harness. Jackson was making a run through the middle. I think that was the ball. As it is, it's with Wes Burns. Burns trying to fight Jackson. It's Caden yeah! Jackson. It's 2 0. Caden Jackson. And Chaplin stroking the ball to Massimo Luongo. The former QPR man Davis delivers in towards Chaplin Chaplin hits it and Chaplin scores Connor Chaplin off the mark for the season not the prettiest of goals but he won't care one bit the right back position for Ipswich Town turns away from Sinistera Burgess Ipswich Town looking to open the pitch up with Davis on the far side, sliding it through down the channels to Caden Jackson. Jackson's inside the penalty area here, and it's it's turned into his own net by Joe Rodon. And Ipswich Town have the lead. Drama, oh, he might have given it straight to Caden Jackson here. Jackson is round Millier. Forced wide, cuts it back. It's it's Broadhead. It's in. It's in. Hold up. Ipswich have half the deficit. Again, you've, they've had a fantastic run of, of games. Here's Chaplin. Can Ipswich finish on the high? can 4-3 comes up to him pops it off gives it away it just breaks that breaks the flow down Hutchinson does well down towards the byline all the way across goal and turned in that is the equaliser the town have been looking for right place right time Humphreys wheels away in celebration and the good to see the official allowing play to continue this is an easier chance for the forward second time is the charm beautifully finished from a Delightful ball that split the town here. Gets us off on the right foot. And the man with the armband finds the top corner. Silhouetted in black. Savage stepping up for Reading. Forget the silhouetted in black. Slicker makes the save. Sir, the Ipswich dominance it. Taylor, cool as you like from 12 yards. Broadhead. Nathan Broadhead! What a hit from Nathan Broadhead! There, Chaplin dropped into space and tried to toe poke it in. In comes the corner, and it's turned! <laughs> Freddy Ledapo in the front post! Ipswich back on level terms. It's an instinctive finish from Ledapo. Game off! Position perhaps. Chaplin wants it. Hutchinson. The cross yeah. goal! by Freddy Ladapo. It's a brace for Freddy. He knew nothing about that. But Ipswich Town have come from 2-0 down. And they've managed to get in behind here with Leif Davis. Davis down the left, cut back for Chaplin by the penalty spot, and it's turned home. A body of players in front of the Sheffield Wednesday goal. It struck someone, it was Connor Chaplin with the shot. He's the one celebrating. And the Ipswich causes is Shea Charles. Hutchinson has pressed high and he's won it off the 19 year old. Hutchinson, left with the shot, yeah! that's the post and in! It's Omari Hutchinson! What a celebration as well from the young lads.
his first senior goal, and it's all of his own making. A great sliding challenge on the 19-year-old Shay Charles. It fell for Chaplin, who fed it back into Omari Hutchinson. And then it's an unerring finish from the Chelsea Loney beyond Bazulu into the back of the net. Right, rise highest at the back post, drops to Connor Chapman right for the shot. Clark will drill <laughs> Harry Clark! His first goal in Ipswich Blue! Side. Drills one forward, looking long for George Hurst. Pears has come a, a long way from goal, and it's with Nathan Broadhead, 25 yards out. Broadhead thinks about the shot! <laughs> oh, and he scores! This goal came as a result of Ainsley Pears getting caught out, coming out of his goal. And Burgess has threaded one through here to Hurst, and Hurst is outside! And George Hurst has scored! Hutchinson into the penalty area. He's been brilliant since coming on, Omari Hutchinson. Marcus Harness dinks it towards the back post and Pears punches away. And it's Forrest Luongo! Massimo Luongo blasts it into the top corner. And we have lift off again at Portman Road. Caden Jackson. And it breaks for Harness. He threads it through to Hutchinson. It's Omari Hutchinson. It's off the post. It's 2 1. Off the post and in from Omari. Into Ladapo. Ladapo saved. Oh, no, it's not. It's in. Bentley can't keep it out. Oh. Evans. Here is Edmondson. Caden Jackson. Evans trying to be a bit clever with it in the middle of the park. Ipswich fortunate to be on the ball here with Brandon Williams now left hand side. Hutchinson. Back to Lee Evans. Captaining Ipswich against his former side tonight. Lee Evans made 67 appearances for Wolves between 2013 and 2018. Here he is once more. Moving on to the pass from Brandon Williams. Harness. Jack Taylor. 25 yards out. Oh my goodness me! Jack Taylor! That's unbelievable! What a hit from Jack Taylor! He scored in the first round. He scored in the third round. And that's a goal of the season contender right there. Wow. What a shot. Back out to Hutchinson. What can he do? The Chelsea low knee. Clips on in towards Ladapo at the back post. It's over Ladapo. Yes! It drops on Williams. Yes! Ipswich responds. And it's Brandon Williams. Just his second senior goal. Searching ball from Davis and Chaplin will leave it for Wes Burns. Burns coming onto it right hand side just outside the whole penalty area. That's magnificent. That is brilliant for Burns. Back to Hadke. Hadke has to be careful here. Well played. And in Westlake and the watching on Blue Army enjoyed that composed piece of play from Václav Hadke. Now it's with Marcus Harness. And now it's Leif Davis left hand side. Hurst getting up in support. Got to come to Chaplin inside the D. Left for the corner. Chaplin with a goal that's come from back to front yet again. Hladke receives a hug from Edmondson down the other end of the field. But if you break through that, the reward's massive because you're sort of... And it's a long ball from Hadke here that's found Hurst. Hurst inside the penalty area now, left-hand side, trying to cut it back for Harness! And how he deserves that! Marcus Harness! In comes the corner from Davis and it's towards Connor Chaplin! <laughs> there, Václav Hadke, but Brandon Williams has stolen the ball off Robbie Brady and now he can drive away down the right-hand side. Williams driving on, he's got her supporting. It's Williams into the penalty area! <laughs> that is magnificent from Brandon Williams! The burners on again, driving down the right hand side. Leaf Davis on the right hand side, Davis delivering the ball in towards Burgess, and then Hurst is able to run in the cross goal. The flag has stayed down, and Nathan Broadhead makes it three. Unselfish work from George Hurst. Flying high in the Skybet Championship. Here's Jack Taylor, he's got Hutchinson supporting. Hutchinson, Jackson free in space. Here's Caden Jackson! 4-2 Ipswich Town!
Caden Jackson couldn't miss. On the far side, infield to George Hurst, his broadhead in a bit of space. Nathan Broadhead through the goalkeeper into the back of the net. Ipswich lead with the outswinger. In it comes. And it's not fully cleared, it might drop for Blue Shirt! It's deflected in! Oh, what an ugly goal, but Ipswich won't care at all! Those simple passes at the back, we've given away a couple. Kladke finds Leif Davis. He's looking to release Hurst, Hurst might be in here. It's George Hurst! <laughs> Taylor, oh, nice flick in field, and Sam Morsi. We'll try forward, he's got Davis outside him, Davis inside the penalty area, cuts it back, Harness blocked away, Harness 3-1! That should seal it! Side, and comes the in-swinger, and it's towards Bagot, and it is in! Ipswich have got a goal, and it's Elkin Bagot with his first goal for the club. That's exactly what we needed. Comes in with a, a big sliding challenge. Clark has managed to clip that out today, and Scarlett on the left hand side, corner of the Birmingham City penalty area. Scarlett could step over, cut back for Ladafo, kept out by Ruddy, but Harness turns it home. It is 2 1. Ipswich have got a goal back, and it's game on at St Andrews. To the, uh, keep people safe travelling up. Hutchinson inside the penalty area, tries to cut it back, and it's. It's high! Oh, it's 2 2! Ipswich have equalised! Marcus Harness! What an inspired substitution! Position. Davis sees Rodgers and Sam Morsi who's in plenty of space! That is brilliant! A training ground move which has worked to perfection! Stop right at the end. Goes through to Davis and the keeper gets down to it and it's ricocheted in! Jack Taylor was arriving on the scene! Chapman 25 yards from goal, Taylor now, he might let go! Oh, ha, ha, ha. Jack Taylor! Into the top corner! Ipswich are back in this game! Brilliant. In comes the throw. It's Chaplin! It's into the near post! Rashford can't keep it out! And Ipswich! who have been knocking on the door. Right on now, and it comes from Davis, and then Taylor's gone down, and the penalty's been awarded. He starts his run-up, and he sends Rushworth, diving beyond the ball. George Stavell, out to Burns on this near side. Burns trying to get the beating of Longman and delivering in towards the back post where Hurst rises, heads it down for Chaplin! Chaplin hammers it home beyond Bill Olkowski into the back of the net. Now Burns inside the penalty area. Burns cutting it back to Chaplin. What can Ipswich fashion here? Luongo! A special, special goal again from Ipswich Town. One touch football, Look. neat. Rolls it into Leif Davis inside the penalty area. Davis across the board. Far side inside the Ipswich half, and it's Broadhead looking to turn away from Ben Sheaf. He's done well, ever so well. Nathan Broadhead, he set Hurst on his way. Hurst is onside, is he? Hurst into the penalty area. Ah! And no and that's with Platke. The one go. Picked up a yellow card in the first half on Wednesday night as well. Massimo Luongo. The Morsi pops it up to Clark first time. Connor Chaplin looking to play that early switch ball, and he has found Leif Davis. And Davis now with the chance to move forward, looking for options ahead of him. Clips it out to the right hand side. Here's Wes Burns. Clark on the overlap. Burns cuts in field inside the penalty oh! area. Oh, it's the most exquisite curler. Burns so will look to attack down the Ipswich right. Feels for a penalty from handball, but it's yeah. deflected in, is it? <laughs> Connor on. Chaplin with the Keep hit. From... And he's in a terrific position to save it. it was, made it look easy. And this might open up for Ipswich Town here. It's Come Hutchinson. On, Come on, goal. Omari Hutchinson! Yes. 
cool as you like. Yeah. Goes long towards George Hurst, Hurst knocking it down. Chapman leaves it for Harness. Now it's Hutchinson again with the chance to break into the penalty area. Hutchinson left with an effort, great save, but turned in by Hurst on the rebound. And that's Hutchinson. Totally entertaining and watchable game live on Town TV tonight. Ladapo trying to roll his man. Kayembe midway inside Watford territory. That's a heavy touch, and Morsi could be in here. It's Sam Morsi! Captain Fantastic! Sam Morsi in front of the away end! Morsi and Luongo outside the penalty area, and it comes from Davis, it's headed away. Luongo will rise up against Rowe. Her flicks it onto Broadhead! That's the opener! Nathan Broadhead in the derby! Ipswich knock it hard the field, Chapman. Now Burns, Burns out of his feet, yeah! into the bottom corner! Beautiful Woo! from Burns! Abadidi getting back, wins the challenge. Throw into Ipswich tail, taken quickly by Hutchinson. Morsi, away from his man, away from Cassidy. Morsi left with the effort, yeah! deflected in! Get deflected it! in! Ipswich are level! Portman Road erupts! Ipswich Town have found a late leveller. A bit of Christmas magic from Morsey. Taylor will deliver in from that side, and it's Broadhead and it's in, deflected in. Ipswich have the early lead. And that will be Broadhead delivering in from the far side, the corner, it drops it to Anzebe! And Axel to Anzebe. Morsey, till he's still down, and it's Morsey into Burns. Burns across goal, and it's tapped in by Taylor. Woodford then steps forward and survives the handball appeals, which came for the Sunderland fans. It's cut through to Caden Jackson. It's Richard right back in it. Caden Jackson, who's shouldering the responsibility of leading the Ipswich line. It's not a burden, it's an inspiration, and that was a wonderful finish. In it goes from Davis and the header was absolutely perfect from Connor Chaplin. Ipswich Town knew that those behind were coming for them. They've been caught, the challenge thrown down, but right now they are meeting that challenge head on. Rolls the ball underneath his left foot into Nathan Broadhead. Luongo just outside the D, goes for goal, it's deflected, it falls for Sami and Jeremy Sarmiento with his first Ipswich goal and what a goal it is an equaliser for Ipswich at the King Power Stadium Hermanson denied the long range effort from Luongo it dropped for Jeremy Sarmiento and the 21 year old was on hand to bury it into the back of the net. Leicester won, Ipswich Town won. Now it's Taylor, central position. Find Sarmiento inside the penalty area. Sarmiento! It's two in two for Jeremy Sarmiento. And he's it into Broadhead. Broadhead, touch away from his man. Here's Davis, Davis clipping it towards the back post. It's Moore rising! And Kiefer Moore at the back post. Jinx away from Brady. Right-footed delivery in this time towards Davis and it's Moore with the header. Al Havani has kept out somehow. Moore yeah. stubs it home. It's 3 2. Up off the long run, throwing one towards Kiefer Moore inside the West Brom penalty area. Loose ball drops for Clark and he heads it back into a dangerous area. Edmonds arises yeah. and Broadhead scores. What a start to the second half for Ipswich Town. And it's Nathan Broadhead. Just good goalkeeper. In comes the corner towards Moore. Loose ball will drop for Morsi inside the D. Morsi, well, that's deflected effort. Falls for Hutchinson. He's got. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's through the bodies and into the back of the net. Real Valentine's Day present, wouldn't it? And it comes from Davis on this near side. Ipswich can't take advantage of the corner gifted to them. Here's Hutchinson trying to work an angle on his left foot. It's flicked on and it's flicked in. And it's Nathan Broadhead. Where well, he can play every week and, and perform. 
Great ball. That's a great ball forward to find Broadhead in the left channel. He's got more supporting. Hutchinson there too, and it's it's an own goal. <laughs> Moving ahead of him. Clark receives it back from Hutchinson, tries to get round the outside of Wallace. He's managed to keep it in play. It's headed back towards Moore, and Moore heads it into the ground and into the back of the net. Goalless draw away at Bristol Rovers as Chaplin looks to set Al Hamadi on his way. Al Hamadi bursting forward, he's away from Leonard. Is this an opportunity where he goes down? And it is going to be a penalty kick. Al Hamadi. Scores his first Ipswich goal. And that caps off a very, very pleasing evening in Bermondsey. In front of the away end, what a wonderful feeling that will be for the young man. The ball nicely, the surface is perfect for us. If we can get this ball moving, we should cut this team open. And Broadhead's through here, it's Nathan Broadhead, one-on-one. -on -one. Broadhead, oh, that's lovely. That is lovely from Nathan Broadhead. Not one out of the coaching manual as Leif Davis is found. That's a great ball forward to Davis. Davis cutting it back for Chaplin. It's Chaplin! It's 50 up for Connor Chaplin! Might go for goal instead, he tries to cut it back. It's Clark now though. Clark thinks about the shot, plays it to Burns, right hand side. Burns dinking one, standing one up towards the back post where Moore rises. And now Hugo will look to clear away, but Morsi wins it back for Town on edge of the ball and penalty area. This time Morsi lifts it in towards yeah. Burns and Burns! Gets the ball moving again. Clark now drilling one, and Burns has got the pace on Peltier as we thought he might. Burns across goal towards Moore. That's brilliant. That is brilliant from Ipswich Town. Yeah. It's, and this might open up for Ipswich Town. Chapman through to Burns. Burns inside the penalty area. Burns blasts it, saved by the legs of Johansson, and Davis turns it goalwards, and then Burns stabs it home from point blank range. Hamadi has won it for Ipswich, right-hand side. Jackson cuts it back for Hutchinson! Omari Hutchinson! You beauty! Good player he can be, finds Hutchinson right-hand side, just inside the penalty area, Hutchinson. Back to Morsi. Morsi thinks about the shot, and it's turned home! And it's 1-0! The flag has stayed down, it's Connor Chaplin! It's the ball out of his feet. Releases to Antebe, can to Antebe find the comeback! Sarmiento! Going to throw down the line, Moore the obvious target, Moore tries to flick it onto Hutchinson, Hutchinson's away here, Hutchinson's through, it's Hutchinson! He just loves scoring at Plano Road! In their respective team, Morsi in ahead of Houghton, here is Sam Morsi, Morsi continuing his run, now it's Chaplin on his right foot, and it's deflected in! Connor Chaplin wheels off away celebrating. Plymouth defence, Davis will deliver again. This is a high floaty one towards Burgess at the back post. Chaplin knots it down for Keeper Moore! And Keeper Moore blasts it home! Chaplin, already Chaplin and Burns looking to link up, and Burns is into the penalty area. Burns, can he find the cutback? It's behind him! for Davis, and it's in! What a response from Ipswich Town! Immediate impact! Deeper than the penalty spot. And it comes from Davis towards the front post, and it is in! And it is Connor Chaplin! Eight or a nine of added time. Sarmiento, Davis will reach the flick on. Davis into the penalty area. Yes, yeah. Davis! And the loose ball drops for Taylor in midfield. He breaks the lines and finds Harness. His keeper Moore just inside the penalty area. Moore on his left foot. Moore into the back of the net. Lays it out to the right side for Wes Burns. Burns along the deck to Hutchinson. Tries to turn onto that left foot. Yeah. Gets the shot off. Really well taken from 18 yards. Left-footed in swinger. Everybody 
up for it, clustered around the six-yard box, oh, off the crossbar, fine header from yeah. Kiefer Moore, and then he's turned in at the second attempt. Well, Kiefer Moore is the one who's able to come away with it, however, the Welshman winning the battle, uses Caden Jackson on the overlap on the right side of the 18-yard box, visited in low, oh, it's beautiful, steered in by Nathan Broadhead. They're going to touch on it just to make sure he steers it away from any sort of trouble, mopped up by Leif Davis on the left flank, and suddenly Towner on the push up towards the halfway line, Broadhead feeding it to Luongo, and now to Davis, who turns away from trouble, Broadhead's in Side. Lovely ball to pick him out, and suddenly they've got an extra man over as well. Amari Hutchinson, they can be using here. Eight to the 18 yard box, 4 0. It's a victory, it's not the job done yet. As Amari Hutchinson just skates away from trouble and comes tearing down the center of the field once again, crossing the halfway line, moving to the edge of the box, lays it off for Samiento, beaten away, and on the follow up, it's Al Hamadi, cool as you like from close range, to make it five with over 10 minutes to play here at Portman Road. To Ansebi. Steps away from trouble, finds Amari Hutchinson, turns, spins away from his man. He's looking for the hat-trick here, right side of the six-yard box, pulls it across, Alhamadi tucks it home instead. Ben Krasin just penalised for a handball there, and then there was a, a late challenge on Chaplin, but Chaplin has managed to stay on his feet, and now he uses the outside of his left foot to find Leif Davis, corner of the penalty area, back in towards Chaplin, who helps it goalwards, and it's in the back of the net, Ipswich lead, it's gone through Ainsley Pears. Uh, Morsi, Davis holding his position, here is the left back now, still inside the penalty area. Left foot to left foot. Oh, what a strike from Leif Davis! Chaplin now firing and towards Leif Davis. Davis coming onto it inside the penalty area, trying to hold off James Bree. Davis back to Taylor. Broadhead with the effort! Yes! Broadhead! It's another magical substitution from Kieran McKenna! Here is Leif Davis just outside the Southampton penalty area. Can he find the final ball? His cut back for Sarmiento. Sarmiento! Yes! He's magic! You know! Jeremy Sarmiento! It's in the bottom corner! Ipswich Town have come from 2-1 down to lead by three goals to two! Within the outline of the body as Davis does deliver towards the back post oh! and it's the one goal! Just to the right of the hull penalty area. That's deflected off Seri, yeah. and it's George Hurst! Back in the team, back on the score sheet. Davis delivers. Irma heads away. Wolfenden, 35 yards out. Now Hutchinson, corner of the penalty area. Can he work it onto that left foot? Hutchinson trying to cut one. Oh, goodness me! Omari Hutchinson! into the top corner, it is magnificent for Ipswich Town. More under the attention of Delap and it's towards the front post and I think it's Allsop with a punch away, Davis potentially with another opportunity to deliver, Hutchinson's going to go for goal again, left foot in, he's done it again, he has done it again! That is sensational from Omari Hutchinson! doesn't and the ball's played across and cleared Morsi breaks the lines here lovely ball from Hutchinson into Burns Burns inside the penalty area it's where's Burns can he cut it back for Kiefer Moore Kiefer Moore makes it 1-0 in front of the travelling supporters it's a fast start for Ipswich it's the perfect start for Ipswich and it's Kiefer Moore Davis from the left hand side in comes the free kick it's a deep one towards Burgess the back post Burgess nods it down Edmondson is there as well Burgess left foot yeah. yeah, it's through and it's in and it's Cameron Ipswich hit the front again, and it's the big Australia centre-back who has the goal. Elation in the away end. At Ellen Road, it's all square, 1-1 between Leeds United and Southampton. Here's George Hurst, 20 yards out. Under pressure from Rodoni, Chaplin, Burns again, another opportunity, it burns! <laughs> Sam Morsi with Wes Burns, Chaplin and Hutchinson playing behind George Hurst. Hutchinson just outside the penalty area. Bang. On his right foot, 